guys welcome back to my channel my name is Logan and today I wanted to just do a little top 10 Taylor Swift songs video because I was just in the mood and I feel like breaking down some of my faves um but I do want to preface that this list although some of these songs have been my favorites for years it does frequently change not like super frequently but like frequently enough to where I can safely say that this is not like the list forever it's my current top 10 faves so I'm going to break down and rank my top 10 favorites and then of course you know me I couldn't only do 10 so I also have 10 honorable mentions so we're gonna start from number 10 to number one and then I'll do my honorable mentions oh and also I do also want to preface that these are my top 10 favorite songs they're not necessarily like the songs that I think are her best songs although some of them I do think are her best songs but they're just the ones that I like the most you know you feel me okay so coming in at number 10 is the song Sparks Fly from Speak Now. Drop everything now. Sparks Fly is just one of those songs that I can just put on and instantly be in a good mood, which I really appreciate. Um, it's just a banger. Like, yeah. I also love like the very like naive, young feeling that the song gives. Coming in at number nine is my favorite song from Lover, which has been my favorite, I'm pretty sure, since the album dropped. Um, you can see me absolutely, my entire body changes. I'm um, doing my Lover album reaction to this song, and it's Paper Rings. Paper Rings, guys, I don't even need to explain myself. It is so good. It's a glitter gel pen song. Like, I just, it, it just it evokes a feeling in me that I really like. And I also think, like, if it was acoustic and slow, it would just be so cute. Like, it would be up there with the song Lover. I love it. Number eight, I do think is one of her best written songs of all time, and it is Happiness from Evermore. Well, there is happiness. I love this song. I think, like I said, it's so beautifully written. Um, I really appreciate all, like, the Gatsby references in it. I like how it ties into the album really well. Um, and I just think it's just such a deep and beautiful song. Seven, I could argue, is the bop of the century, and that is the song Fearless from Fearless. Yes, yes, fearless. Like, you tell me that you don't put this song on and instantly feel like it again. You feel like you want to dance in your best dress fearless. Like, I want to go into a field and run around and frolic when I hear this song. It puts me in the best mood. Um, it's a song that I never thought I would hear live, but the Eras tour has t helped me hear it live, which I appreciate because I was very young. Um, when Taylor was touring Fearless, so I did not go, unfortunately. Um, but I just love this song. It's like her best title track. Well, Love, okay, wait, I should not say that because Lover's really good. But honestly, Lover's not on my list, so I will, I will say Fearless is the best title track because it is. It's so good. Coming in at number six is my favorite from Folklore, and it is The One. But we were something, don't you think so? When I was on Twitter, and I found out that she switched out The One, or Invisible String for The One, girl, I was in the bestest mood, because I love Invisible String, don't get me wrong, but The One, I'm there. I'm there. Now we're in the top five, guys. Figuring out this top five was a treacherous experience, okay? Number five is you're on your own kid. You're on your own kid. I feel like that is probably in a lot of top 10 Taylor song like rankings just because it's such a good freaking song. I think it really shows her journey really well. Um, I'm about to graduate college so I've been listening to this song and crying nonstop. Um, it's just such a beautiful song. I'm gonna say that for every song. The bridge, iconic. Um, I think if I heard the song live, I would drop to the ground. Number four is The Moment I Knew from Red. In Red, Red is my favorite Taylor album. Um, the Moment I Knew, I do also think is one of her best written songs. She does imagery really well, as we know, but I think in this song in particular, even before we had the references to the song in the All Too Well short film, I could absolutely visualize the song to a T, um, which I really appreciate in songwriting. Now my top three. These songs have always been in my top three. They're probably never not going to be my top three because they are just it for me. Number three is I Wish You Would. By far my favorite from 1999. I would do anything for that song. I just love it. I love it. Number two is my favorite from Red, and it is the song Starlight. I said, oh my, what a marvelous tune. I, this is like, 
other than my number one ranking, this is the song that I always say I want as a surprise song. At the rep tour, there's literally a video of my friend when she was like about to announce the surprise song. She's going, Starlight, Starlight, Logan wants Starlight. Didn't play Starlight, but that's okay. I'll hear it one day. And my number one favorite song of all time, it has been for probably a decade and will always be. And as cliche as it is, I'm gonna say it and it's long live. I said, remember this moment. I love that song. Um, I have technically heard it live because she sang part of it on the rep tour, but I was the show right before she started playing it on the Eras tour, so I've not heard the whole song, and so I'm very excited um, to hear it completely in its entirety live. Um, I think I will be a mess. Um, I think it's going to be very bad for the people around me. I think I'm going to lose it, um, but I just, I don't know. I just can't listen to that song and not cry. I love it so much. I think it is, I think about like a person my age writing a song like that and just it just I don't know I just think that she is incredible basically okay so now we're into the honorable mentions guys because I don't have just 10 let's be for real these are not ranked so I'm just going to list them off some of these are in there because I think that like they're truly her best songs and then some of them are in here because I just really love them and they're like up there with my favorites first up is cardigan Unpopular opinion, but Cardigan is my favorite out of Betty August and Cardigan, which is crazy because I also really, 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 really love August and really, 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 really love Betty. But the thing about Cardigan that gets me is the Peter losing Wendy line. Like, I can't move past that. I'm still there. I'm still there. The next song is Nothing New. I'm pretty sure I've said this on my channel before, but Nothing New is like a feeling that I've had. It evokes a feeling that I've had my whole life that I could never put into words and then Nothing New did that. Like the feeling of like, I mean, I guess I could put it into words, but <laughs> she does it so much, so much more eloquently than I could. Um, like the feeling of like growing up and being afraid that like you, the things that you achieve post whatever age is no longer good because you're young, because you're old and not considered young. I just, I love that song. This one is also not an unpopular opinion, but Mirrorball, like the bridge moves everyone it absolutely like i heard that for the first time and i was like oh my gosh this next one crazier girl i have apple music i need crazier on streaming i don't know why it's not on speak now or fearless like i'm holding out hope that it's gonna be on debut um i don't know why it would be on debut but i'm holding out hope because i love crazier i like you lift my feet off the ground you spin me around Oh my god, it's such a good song. Next is the song Seven from Folklore. This song is genius. Um, it represents nostalgia so well. It makes me think of the Bridget Terabithia. Um, and I really love the vibe of Bridget Terabithia. If you've seen that movie, I mean, it's incredibly sad. But like the vibe before the sad part is great. Um, yeah, I don't know what is going on with my camera. I'm so sorry if the lighting is funky. Next is a song from Lover and it is Death by a Thousand Cuts. I dressed as Death by a Thousand Cuts streetlights for um one of my tour dates um the entire bridge like need i say more need i say more the next one is this is why we can't have nice things which is my favorite believe it or not from <laughs> reputation i feel like when i tell people that they're like what and, like, <laughs> i just love that song it is such a bop <laughs> i have loved it since it came out um call it what you want is also up there i did not mention it in my honorable mentions but i also love call it what you want my camera's about to die. Guys, my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna talk really fast. We have I Bet You Think About Me. If there's a country song that I love, it's that one. I freaking love that song, it's so good. The Way I Loved You, The Summer I Turned Pretty, Be For Real. And last but not least is I'm Only Me When I'm With You from Debut. I feel like I paid Debut and Rep Dust, but don't worry, I love you. Um, and then the song Ours, which is not on my 10 honorable mentions, but it has my favorite lyrics of all time, which is people throw rocks at things that shine. Don't you worry, you're pretty long line. People throw rocks at things that shine. Anyway, my camera's about to die, but thank you all for watching, um, and I will see you in the next vid. Bye.